Question number four taken from June 2014, advanced level maths HSC P3. The equation x is equal to 10 over e to the power of 2x minus 1 has one positive real root denoted by alpha. Show that alpha lies between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. For the second part, show that if a sequence of positive values given by the iterative formula x is equal to half natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over x converges, then it converges to alpha. If this iterative formula, um, use this iterative formula to determine alpha correct to two decimal places, give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. Okay, so let's do this. Question number four. Right. We are told that x is equal to um, 10, sorry, x is equal to 10 over e to the power of 2x, then minus 1. And we have to show that there is a root between, uh, there is a root between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Alright, so the best way to do this is to look at this formula. And what we're going to do basically, we're going to try to um, rearrange it in a way, okay, that makes it more suitable to to determine whether we have a root between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So I would most probably take this one, send on the other side becomes x is, I mean, sorry, x minus 10 over e to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Right, so here we have this equation in a proper form now. Okay, what we can do, we can say f1, the first value of x is 1, is equal to 1 minus 10 over e to the power of 2x. X, since x is equal to 1, therefore 2 times 1 is 2, so e squared minus 1. If you do that in a calculator, um, you're going to end up with, uh, well, let me just try and do it now. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Um, 10 divided by e to the square. All right, so let's, let's do this. Right. e to the square. All right, uh, that's the value of e to the square minus 1. All right, then you take 10 to divide by the answer. You get 1.5. So 1 minus the answer is going to be minus 0 0.565. So we have when f is equal to, sorry, when it is f1, then it is minus 0 0.5 six five and for the other part um, we're going to do f2 right so f2 is going to be 1 minus 10 over e to the power of 2x and this time x is 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 so e to the power of 4 minus 1 here again um, your calculator will do the miracle here so <coughs> sorry about that. So e to the power of uh, 4 is going to give us this uh, number, this amount, minus 1. Let's go to this, and then you take 10 divided by the answer you just obtained. And then you take 1 minus the answer, it's going to give you 0 0.813. Okay, 0 0.813. Now what do we observe? This is a negative, this is a positive. Therefore since there is a change of sign all right between f1 and f2 comma therefore there exists a root basically in this case alpha between um, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Right, so here we are for the first part. Okay, now for the second part. <coughs> we have to show that uh, if x uh, subscript uh, n plus 1 is equal to half natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over x subscript n that this formula, this iterative formula, converges to alpha. 
So the best way to do this is to rearrange it. Okay, so what we're going to do, is so we're going to send um, 2 on the other side, so 2 times x is 2x is equal to natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over x. Okay, so take that away, you're going to get e to the power of 2x is equal to 1 plus 10 over x. So the next thing is to um, make x the subject formula, so you're going to take 1, sum on the other side, becomes e to the power of 2x minus 1, then you're left with 10 over x. This is basically saying that x over 10 is equal to 1 over e to the power of 2x, then minus 1. Therefore, if we have to do x, x is going to be, the 10 goes on top there when you multiply, so 10 over e to the power of 2x minus 1. And originally, we had this formula. So here we are, it's been shown that therefore it converges to this um, formula. This iterative formula converges to alpha. For the third part, all right, um, this is becoming even more interesting. We need to use this iterative formula, that is, we have to use this formula to show, um, I mean, to find this um, value of alpha correct to decimal places, and also we need to give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. So let's take the initial value of x being 1, and we have a formula here, so we can say x1 is equal to half times the natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over x. x is supposed to be 1, the initial value of x is 1. So what do we have here? 10 over 1 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, so natural logarithm of 11, you divide that by 2. Okay, so if you do it on a calculator, you're going to end up with 1 decimal 1989. And for the second part, so x2 is going to be, this time, the natural, half the natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over this new value here, one, because this is the new value of x now, 1.989. Okay, so do it on the calculator again, you're going to end up with 1.1172. So for x uh, subscript 3, that is uh, the third value of x, uh, sorry, half natural logarithm of 1, Plus this time we have 1.1172, oh, sorry, 10, and you're going to end up with 1 decimal 1.488. And for the fourth one, natural orgasm of 1 plus 10 over the new value 1.1488, and you're going to end up with 1 decimal 1363. X5 this time half natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over 1 decimal 1363 and that's going to end up with um, 1 decimal 1412 okay then again we have um, half the natural logarithm of 1 plus 10 over this time 1 decimal 14 one two and again the value of that will be one decimal one three nine two now what do we observe from these values we can clearly see it's one point one four one point one four to two decimal places therefore we can confidently say that this uh, value of this uh, alpha is one decimal one four to two decimal places here we are and that's done.